The following facilities management insight was filmed at the NFMNT Conference and Expo. For a number of years, uh, people know how durable they are and, and how they perform. Um, they've been used in on bridges, you know, 20, 30 years on a bridge as a coating, a protective coating for corrosion, uh, inside tunnels in water and wastewater to, to protect from the, the thiobacteria and the sulfuric acid that happens in wastewater. Uh, they've used, been used in industrial concrete floorings. Um, and, and they've been used for those reasons, for those really durable type environments. Um, primarily exterior or out of the way of people. Um, and by the way, that might be a really good test question. Um, like where have these industrial maintenance coatings been used? Uh, I'm just saying it could be a good, good test question. Um, they, they needed to be very tough, durable coatings. Um, and then they also kind of needed to look good. So that doesn't necessarily translate well um, into the needs of the architectural paint market. Uh, so these are characteristically, you know, alkyds, polyurethanes, polysiloxanes, uh, aspartics. These are the types of products, epoxies. Those are the types of products that might ring a bell if you think of an industrial maintenance paint. Um, they had fairly low solids. Uh, they usually have high odor because of the solvents that are used in those, in those paints and coatings. And kind of like with the Henry Ford model, um, you can get any color car as long as it's black, remember? Well, with these types of industrial maintenance coatings, usually you could get any sheen level you wanted as long as it was shiny. So it was kind of following that. 